Hello my warriors, how is it going and welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech, where we are building our Crusader today and we obviously play some missions. So, let's go ahead and I would say wait a little while until everybody is uh, ready again because we got some fatigue and then we're gonna see if we're gonna play first or if we wanna build first. So this is where we technically, actually let's wait another day, that's it, here we go. So. We're gonna take a look at our beautiful Crusader now, and I wanna see if we can build something reasonable with that thing. Um, my idea, by the way, was that I wanted to put some ballistics on the arms of the Crusader. That's not a Crusader. Give me a second, what's going on here? That's a Crusader, hello beautiful. This thing is so cool, I love the looks of it. And yeah, I wanna make it uh, some, of, some kind of a ballistic slug thrower with some missile support. That's my idea of the build, but we will see it's a 65 tonner. It doesn't have the most weight to work with, but we're gonna make it happen somehow. So, uh, what are we doing? First of all, we need a fusion core, we need an engine upgrade, uh, cockpit items. It has stable weapons, so it has a negative one recoil. And again, this gives me the idea of putting that heavy rotary auto cannon 5 on the thing. The thing that is lying around currently. That's a 260 core. That's very solid. No upgrades, XL wise. We have a double heatsink kit here. Oh. What are we doing with this then? Can we even build right now? Since I really do want that XL upgrade, I also kind of want that Endo Steel Clan version. So I can put both Pharaoh and Endo in the mech. I think that's it. So right now, we are still on the hunt for more equipment. We need, we definitely need that XL upgrade. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to put the Crusader to the side right now. It's fine. And we will definitely go and play a mission. Let's see if we can find a nice thing for Mr. Crusader here. Also, I want to punch a little higher than normally. Uh, so three and a half seems okay. This is six salvage, but it's also target acquisition. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it so much. We can play a battle in the Highlands. We could play a convoy ambush in the Highlands. I like that idea. Yeah, let's go with that. We are playing against the Draconis Combine. We'll take the Salvage here, and we might even find some good stuff. Absolutely. Oh, by the way, this is going to be input name for loadout. This is my uh, dual loadout. All right. Confirm that. Cool. And now we're going to bring the rest in and save it as the, the battle loadout, because I don't want to swap back and forth all the time. So get the Phalanx in here. We're going to take Apex on the Warhammer. That's it. Yes, I remembered. That's cool. I'm gonna take Eric. Eric on the Wolverine. We have Fang going down here. The Blue Flame being piloted by... Was it Arya Maki? No. No, 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 no. Who was it, actually? It was King Wolf, right? Yeah, there we go. Put King Wolf in here. We got Eckbird. And then, again, the Oracle being piloted by Tank Girl. And then, again, I'm gonna save that. Make it a battle load. Loud? Lo load, load, out. That's it. Here we go. So, now we can, you know, battle load out, do a load out, or clear. That's pretty cool. So, let's go ahead. We are ready to go. We have everybody where they want to be. Let's deploy. And yes, I know, I like the challenge. We are punching a skull higher than our current lands value. But since we have very well-trained pilots, I think this should be fine. Honestly, my guys are, are already in the higher tier of, uh, of skill rating, so... Doesn't really matter if we have bad equipment, which we certainly don't have. We have a lot of good stuff in the mags and the tanks. And I do wonder when the time will come where I actually will drop my Oracle. Because I kind of grew fond of it. Now that I realize it has multi-target, it is so good being able to deny the enemies the accuracy by just dropping smoke on them. Or making us uh, see them easier by dropping flares on them. Or, you know, lighting up the forest around them by using Inferno. Or... Whatever, priming them for getting more damage with acid. So many cool things that we can do with that thing. And it also has a big, big AoE sensor ping. Super cool thing. So, I think it's gonna stay in the lands for quite a while. But since I'm focusing on mechs anyway, um, I don't think that we're gonna get any good tanks anytime soon. So, we still run the Phalanx, which is a pretty good thing to have. And then the Oracle, because we have it. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. So we have an ambush convoy, which means uh, the whole mission is very much predetermined. We know exactly where the enemies will be, where they have to go, and where we have to stop them. So uh, I just want to set up nicely and shoot them to pieces. 
And the idea is to see a lot of vehicles, and vehicles are rather easy to rather easy to crack. And we're gonna try to get some engines from them, because some of them will also run XL engines. That's the thing, that's the idea. We also have the tandem ammo in our Stormcrow, which is very helpful. It deals direct damage to structure, and tanks don't have structure. Not much at the very least. So we can take him down and maybe one alpha strike without even scratching their armor, completely ignoring it. And um, we have LRM tandem and SRM tandem, so both of the good stuff. Let's go. Command interface initiated. Cool, cool, cool. Huh? There we go. So let me see. Stop the convoy from escaping. That's the denial zone. This is the convoy's route. That means they will start here. Where do they start? Here? Is this where they go? That's kind of weird. So, yeah, they are here. And they probably go... God, where are they? Down here? That's a pretty long path, actually. But yeah, I think I want to stay... Like... Or start, actually. R right here. That's fine. Let's go. We have a lot of indirect fire. Might as well use it. And I want to start in the denial zone so I can actually move towards them. Ooh. So, here they are. Shieldron. Striker. Sealed. Lame. ECM jamming. So far, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna reserve this. I want to give him a turn. Let him get out of there. Yep. Spawn protection. Rottweiler. What is that? Is it quad? It's quad battle armor. Oh my god. They have little quad battle armor. Oh my god, this is so good. Rottweiler being a pretty big dog. Um, nice. <laughs> Love it. Also, Flea, Striker, Shieldron, Lame, ha ha Hunter, okay. Something good? Jazz? Okay. Yeah, that's good. We need to take it down quickly. Vindicator, and an Assassin. Yes, Commander. Uh, yeah, let's get the hammer on. Let me see what I can do here. Can we attack the Rottweiler? Our hit chance is pretty bad everywhere. I'm gonna go with that. Affirmative. Take those little guys out before they can yes. do anything. Ready to get it on. Sniper! Still, I think, the same approach. Although I could deal a good chunk of spread damage there. I am really annoyed by those little guys, so I'm gonna go for this. Copy that. Cool. That's some damage. Battle armor flamer destroyed. These are attack dogs with flamers. I what love it. Want? I instantly get uh, Castle Wolfenstein vibes here. What if we go Artemis? Can we destroy? I don't think so. I'm gonna wait for one of the tanks okay. to move and then I'll do the, tandems, the, the tandem attack pattern. Let's go. So the Jazz is running Thunderbolts? Right? TBM is Thunderbolt Missile. And I think this is the most impactful tank that they have. Still waiting. Nothing to do here, nothing to see. Rottweiler. <laughs> Look at these guys. They're so cute. They're also stealth. There's a big bubble around them. Commander. Uh, I mean, yeah, King Wolf is definitely gonna go ahead and uh, shoot his... Heavy MRMs in swarm mode. No pulse lasers. Actually, we have the heat. Let's go. Target acquired. There was a chance. They are unsettled. They are still kind of active. Hunter is moving. They are moving this route. Okay, good to know. Some of these are shooting flames. I wonder what exactly it was. So the Jazz, I think, shot some maybe thermal bolt missiles, but the smaller kind. And it is also agile, so it can move after shooting. No? Was it a flea? Ah! Confirmed. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go. Let's shoot. Um, four times. Let's see what you got. Never lucky. Not today. So technically, when you have 26% chance and you shoot four times, that should be more than 100% chance, right? That's how math works. <laughs> uh, they are the Thunderbolts. Oh my god. They are actually Thermobolts and they hit hard. Taking damage. 
Yeah, we gotta take the jazz out so quickly. What is it already? But we can. We certainly can. Or we can, you know, certainly try. Let's go. The jazz is gonna be my target, and we're gonna shoot. And then, uh, yeah. Alpha strike engaged. I'll do it. Primary target damage. Concentrate your it's not much damage yet, range. but we will follow up with short range missiles afterwards, and that's gonna be alright. Also, we got a hunchback. Who happens to be a hunchback? Probably don't want to get too close to those guys, though. Yeah, <laughs> let's move over to the other side. Okay. What can I shoot? I can shoot 21% of indicator and the hunter at 57. Sure. Reporting. Reporting. Uh, let's go down here. Location confirmed. Let's go multi -ta Actually, let's not go multi-target. I will all attack this guy with am. Where is it? Come on. Not smoke. Not inferno. Yeah, I did. There we go. Let's deal some damage. Splash damage on the ground should deal with the battle armor. Doesn't. Good to go. Sniper cannon. Yeah, sure. Let's go. I copy. Fire. Time to unload. That's two of them down. It's kind of funny how these little guys attract fire like crazy, but I really don't like them. This would expose the crow quite a lot. Hmm. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Sure. Bring the flame. Get the Rottweiler. Shoot. Firing. Swarmies maybe hit? I mean, yeah, we dealt some damage, but it's still not enough. Yes. And I will leave my crow where it is right now. Holding. This is alright. Nothing to be seen here. That's great. Maki, can you already... Yes, you can do it. Cool. So... What can we attack? This is gonna be a charge attack. I don't really like that. But we might just want to go for... It's still a charge. What? Alright. We're super fast, but still not enough. Skipper. What about Eric? Eric needs to help out here, I believe. Eric is actually also pretty accurate. Eric could deal with the Rottweiler. Eric wants to go into the center of the whole situation, get his AMS everywhere where it's needed, and then we go, you know what, we're gonna go with the controlled burst and go all in, so we have more chances to actually destroy. One is down, still one alive. Need the jazz, come on, give me that guy. Alright, so we dealt some damage to the structure, you can see. But here's the Rottweiler. That's a pretty far shooting flamer, I gotta say. So he has light machine guns, also one hit point only. Light go. machine guns and a battle armor flamer. I'm going to hold here and watch out. How do we get our XL? I believe this assassin is gonna give us an XL as well. Or the flea, maybe. Holy crap! What? Stealthy flea? With light PPCs and stuff? Alright. Alright, it's on. They must good against battle armor, huh? Don't want to waste a turn like that. Oh man. Oh man. Let me get over here. And we're gonna try to overheat Mr. Flea Dude. Yeah, we got him hot. So that's good. Uh, Tanker! Yeah, I know. I want. I know what to do here. This is gonna be a pretty easy turn. We go multi-target. That is a, a one and uh, uh, a two. Sure. And I'll shoot anything that deals tiny bits of damage. Flare. Cool. Lucky we need target. one damage. And we. Oh, that doesn't deal splash. Should have gone guided. Yeah, this is what we needed. I should have accepted the, the guided damage against uh, my own guys here. Damn it. So flares don't do splash damage. We learned something. Anyway, turn 14. Get some plasma on my hunchback. I don't care. That guy basically never shoots. So I don't care about extra heat generated from weapons fire. That's okay. Still, 
Gotta keep that in mind. What do you want? Still a bit afraid of the crow being shot down. We're gonna wait for those guys to do something. Is the striker running some kind of Hydra missiles? Also, ooh, ooh, wait, what? Thunderbolt? High explosive? Kinetic? Thermobolt? XL engine? What are we looking at here, striker? Thunderbolts? All right, and the Guardian is here. This guy is pretty stacked. Also, we got uh, now plasma on the crow as well. And we cannot go in there? Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll go Vigilance. And I will attack the hunchback, uh, the, the, the hunter. Actually, if I charge anyway, might as well go for this, the jazz, right? It's not in range, damn it. But we can, we can go for the 69%. Seems good, let's go. Moving out. Boop, boop. Here comes the hunchback. Engaging. And all of a sudden, we miss. Damn it. Okay. I mean, lucky for us, we got that AMS going for us. The thermobaric explosion, however, dealing so much damage to the Oracle. We gotta turn it around. Ow. Headshot. Reporting heavy damage. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Alright, cool. Let's go. Like, go, go. Gadgetto, Stormcrow. Hmm. It's not optimal. Moving. Oh, I don't have... Oh, I don't have Vigilance anymore. It's bad. Tandem against the Striker, I think it's our best bet. Guns on target. Yeah, that's nothing. So, let's hope that we got Standing by. just very good initiative. I need to take... What do I need to take? Actually, I, I think I need to take the Shieldron down. These other guys are being contained by my AMS, but this guy kind of hurt me. I don't like that. Heading out. Let's go here. For there we go. Damage. One down. Concentrate your fire and I also wonder if there are reinforcements coming if I have 50% of the main force destroyed. Maybe? We'll see. What's up, boss? Blue flame! Blue flame is gonna go and attack the flea. That's what it's made for. Let's go kick. Bam! Moving to position. Here it comes. Yeah! Kick attack! I got a beat on him. <laughs> And the medium pulse. That flea is down. Like, down, down. Target eliminated. Uh-huh. We got two evasion out of this. Turn 18, it is the Rottweiler. Dudes, don't jump on me and stick yourself to my mech. No? No? You go for the Oracle, huh? You go for the Oracle, and you actually hit him. Yeah, about that. We need to actually run and turn now. I'm a lot of armor here. Anyway, we got Eckbird. What's Eckbert gonna do? Do we shoot the vehicles? Do we shoot this guy up here? He's turned 16. I mean, if I can destabilize him? Sure. Nice side attack. Maybe like this. Alright, I'll do it. Come on, hit him, please. Giving him everything I've got. That went wide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fair. Negative damage. Repeat. What are your orders, Skipper? Yeah, Eric and his rock. I uh, oh my oh my god, Ermagerd. Look at this. I'm gonna take this shot. Fire. I got you. He's nasty. He got plasma. He's also now unsteady. Critical hit. And you know what? We're gonna jump around a bit. Like this. Acknowledged. Alright. Now we got our Warhammer. Hmm. No, it's not the hammer. It's Tank Girl. Alright, Tank Girl. We gotta do that left side twist, huh? But we can't do it with four evasion. And 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna offensive push this guy. Doesn't matter what we shoot really. I just want him to be pushed back in initiative. There we go. Aye aye. Now I can take my hammer and go for it. Let's see how you like this. 
Yeah. So, a little bit of your own medicine, buddy. Moving out. And we're done. Cool. That is a hell of a lot of missiles, man. I really wonder what's in that striker. So it's two Thunderbolt tanks or what? Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, the crow. All right, let's go. Vigilance. And where's the... No, wait. That was the striker. Yes, yes, yes. And that's the jazz. How do I get line of sight to the jazz? Just from here, huh? I cannot reasonably run around, get uh, cover, and hit the jazz. That's a... It's unfortunate. Alpha strike Fine. Engaged. Warning. Enemy reinforcements detected. Reinforcements. All right, it's not fine. Where are they? All the way up there. All right, so we are kind of okay for the moment. We still have this Vindicator in front of us with the plasma. He's probably going to go for Mr. Stormcrona, but ah, it's going to be all right. I will accept the heat damage that he provides. Anyway, I think that's my full turn, right? Oh, death from above? No, it's a backstrike. All right. Lost a component. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's a death from above. I was not expecting that, honestly. Taking damage. Got a beat on him. Um, that's. Is it Bad. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this guy is now almost filled with uh, things. Stability. We gotta stabilize ourselves again and run. Get out here, buddy. Stupid Rottweiler. <laughs> I don't want this guy. Uh, okay, let's stay. Let's get... I don't know where to go. Here. Let's roll. And we'd shoot Artemis at him. Guns on target. That was not good enough, but he's falling. That might result in... Oh, a pilot ejection. That is a good amount of equipment on the board. That's exactly what I was coming for. So, speaking of... Um, hot seat can be turned off. Needs to be turned off. And we're gonna hunt the dogs now. Roger. Full speed. Dog against dog. Come on, please hit him. Drop on you, pal. Not sorry. Double hit with 18%. I love it. Cool. We didn't really have anything else to do with our That's blue flame attack dog, so that was good. Maki. Maki has vision on an ar Not one archer, but two archers. There's only one thing to do. Presenting them a target. Uh, let's get five evasion. Plus cover. It seems good. Let's go. And we got three shots left. We're gonna take one. Doesn't matter really. 18%, come on. Yeah, whatever. I don't really care about that shot. It's an LRM-20, double LRM-20, double medium laser build. Whoa. Ready to rock. Wait, A1? Or is it 1A? It's 1A. Isn't that the, kind of like the, the primitive-ish version of a uh, mech all the time? I don't know. It might be. Hmm. All right, let's deal with the Vindicator. Fire. Full speed. No target. Fire. Affirmative. Not enough. Damn. Reporting. But you know what? There's more where that came from. Copy. In the form of Tank Girl. Where does she go? She wants to be in the back of this guy, huh? Moving. All right, two shots of guided ammo. Let's hope for the best. Affirmative. That's not enough. Commander. That's good. Um, let me see. We have something like a minimum distance with our plasma cannon. The Moving inner sphere position. plasma cannon has that. Giving him everything I've got. We could not kill, we couldn't knock, but he is heavily oh never mind. <laughs> He's still able to run around like crazy. Oh crap. That's a miss. Good to see. And he's not gonna shoot, right? Ballsy! Are you overheating now? No. Yes, Commander. That is a no. Interesting. So, on my way. Mr. Eckbert. Mr. Eckbert is gonna shoot. We try to hit. 
And we did. Here's a striker coming down. Still, again, no power against my AMS Mark II. Get out of here, buddy. And the hunter is about to die as well. I think this whole scenario here we got under control, but I wonder what the archers are gonna do. I mean, obviously, shooting missiles. Ooh! What? Systems holding. Swarm missiles. And it seems like they multi-targeted? No. That's the hunchback. Yeah, we gotta be careful. I don't know if being uh, a lone wolf in that situation was a good idea in general. Huh. Let's see. I think we need some kind of smoke or so. 26? Really? Can't fire, not enabled. Yeah. I don't know if it's empty or if it's hey, now jammed or something. Uh, this is not good. Anyway, attack dog. Let's go kick him and then shoot him, but not with the swarms, but with everything else. Putting my weight into it. That's a miss. Come on, buddy. Something, please. Anything. Missed. All right, gyro is destroyed. That's something. I think I hit something good. I'm okay with that. What is it already? Crow. Crow wants to follow. Let's roll. You know what? I'm gonna shoot one MML twenty. Yeah, he's gonna die. Yeah. I'll go Alpha Strike. Guns on target. I was thinking about not going all in to save some stuff, but Take then he had so first. little structure left there. I was like, you know what? We got Alpha Strike, and we don't need to. Preserve the ammo so much. It's alright. Oh yeah, and these guys are dangerous now. They can actually shoot us. Okay. Confirmed. Uh Wolverine. Kill? I'm rolling. Please? That's a kill. Alright, so. Uh we only have a striker with two missiles and uh, one ballistic. The ballistic seems to be a machine gun. Oh, the phalanx. We need to take it away from the front line now. Yes, yes, yes. But anyway, we got Maki. Uh, this is gonna be a charge attack, but I'll take it. Let's go Vigilant beforehand, so we have, hopefully, high initiative next round. We can actually go in his back. I'll take it. That's a hit. Is that a kill? No, but we got a knockdown. I'm okay with that. It's good enough for me. What are we doing against the other archer? He shoots war missiles, so I don't even need to flare him up or whatever him up. <sighs> and we do the left side twist, huh? And we try to shoot this guy with something. Here we go. I don't know if I, if I would even take the archer. Sounds funny, I know, but I'm not sure. Copy that. Because I'm here for equipment anyway. Oh, that's out of range. Uh, fine. Firing. Yeah, I'll take the damage. I just want to finish this now. Don't want to give the striker another uh, opportunity to shoot me. Speaking of shooting. Hmm. I think I'm fine here. There are flames on the way, I know. Affirmative. But I also have flames that I want to shoot. Taking the shot. Cool. So, what now? Ariamaki? Oh my god, Ariamaki. I will actually... Ugh. I kind of have to wait for... No, yes, 20% uh, fail chance on this stupid supercharger. I'm gonna take it. On Don't it. blow up. Targeting for physical attack. Okay. That's good. Not a kill, but it's good. Reporting. Commander, I'm hit. That's bad. Supercharger exploded under our butts. Reporting. That means we lost it now, right? It's not just critical, it's lost. Firing at him. I don't know, we'll see. But I think I All needed the speed to actually get to him. 
So what is it, it was a gamble. Anyway, kill this real quick. Moving. An Artemis. An only Artemis, which is good. Guns on target. Not good enough though. Receiving you. Uh King Wolf has everything off, which is also okay. Cannot oh. He's unsteady. Why is he unsteady? Buddy. Alright. So this is our attack. I copy. And we got the last one of those guys. So, one archer on the ground, one still alive. Uh, cannot see him, cannot hit him. Weird. This is so weird. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Maybe if the Warhammer clears this spot, I can then follow up. He did nothing. That's good. Copy that. And we definitely gonna go for nothing here. Because I don't wanna hurt the hunchback too much. And this is again another plasma shot. Copy that. Big misses. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Okay. Confirm. So let's see. We can actually take the spot and try to shoot. And our hit chance should be quite okay on this. I'm on him. Took a hard hit there. I just want to finish here, guys. I just want to finish. Maybe I shouldn't be so overzealous with my damage. Yeah, I should be fine. Alright. We definitely need another super a super charger. Ready for orders. Uh go fast. This is as fast as we can go, man. The blue flame is just also too slow. Commander. Think girl, what can you do? Not much, really. Uh, copy. Actually, we can do a little bit. Let's go, Inferno. Guy's still pretty hot. Can make him even hotter. 23. Watch my six. Yeah, that makes sense. Going in my back there, but he didn't get anything done. So, I need a turn. Please. Please, please, please. Flames on the way. Don't like that. Flames everywhere. Alright, we go over here. Roger that. And we're gonna try to heat him up a bit more. Engaging target. That's good. Reporting critical hit. That's another injury. He's down to one health. Commander. Uh yeah, hot seat, please turn it off. How do we do this? Are we even going in his back? I think we do. Position confirmed. Uh. All right, and then the engine exploded again. Holy crapperoni! So, one down, a million to go. I'll jump, I'll shoot, I'll do everything I can to get this last archer off the battlefield. Buy everything. Not enough. Yes. Uh, bang! You got something. Let's roll. 30%, not target. the best, but might be enough. No, no, not yet. Good hit there. Eckbert. Ready for orders. He has a direct chance to hit, maybe. Let's see. Yes. Copy that. <sighs> Fell short. Negative damage. Repeat. Now it's Negative the archer's damage. turn, so he can actually try to get something done, but he's overheating, so yeah, we are fine. Reporting. Maybe Tanker can actually finish it up. Let me see if that's possible. Let's go for center. Affirmative. So getting some criticals out of that. Uh, primitive engine crits. So yeah, I was right with the primitive assessment. For that reason... I'm not gonna do anything here anymore. I'm just gonna finish it up. Affirmative. And we're gonna shoot him with artillery. Because we can. Engaging with targets. <laughs> That's the pilot incapacitated. Um, I am okay with that. Mission I mean, it is a primitive archer, but it is an archer anyway. How many parts would we get out of this? Also, is it just like a 60 toner or maybe a 7? I have no idea. Let's check it out, guys. Wow. So, we need to think about our priorities here. I wanted that XL engine and I think I need another supercharger if there's one. 
because I kind of blew mine up. Uh, yeah, they are, it's, it's an actual 70 tonner. Hmm, spicy. Don't want the assassin, don't want the flea, the hunter, the jazz, or anything else. I am here for quality. Hotshot flamer. Okay, I'm not taking it. We got two mag shots, improved heavy clan lasers. That's a good one. MMLs, plasma cannon, plasma rifle. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Who would carry a plasma rifle? Nobody really, right? We need a TSM to hold it reliably. This is hard. This is tough. I'm not gonna take that. Thunderbolts, uh, some Ultra 5s, active camouflage, battle fists. So we get punch attack damage bonuses with the battle fists. An interface cockpit. I actually like my mobility, so I'll take it. Clan Endosteel, it's exactly what I was looking for. That's a Clan XL engine. 275 rated core would be a fine thing to get. There's Guardian ECM. Some double heat sinks. Lower melee punch. Ooh. Retractable blade. Ooh. I see what's above it. I, I, I see it, guys. But this guy here gives us plus one physical weapon hit rolls. It spreads the physical weapon damage evenly among them. So if we go and punch or hit twice with our hatchet, is that better than one big alpha strike? Also gives us 10% more damage. 1% more stability damage. It would give us a bit more reliability, right? So if you punch twice... No, I think it's still either you hit everything or either you miss everything. I don't know if a blade is a good, a good option here. Not sure. But I think it's, this is a thing that I have to take. Because it is a radical pro to double heatsink kit. Yes, negative 15% heat generated by weapons fire. Negative 10 heat per turn. Activates when above 80% heat. Deactivates when below 20. And it has negative 30 heat per turn when active. Also negative 15% heat when active. Per weapons fired. It is insanely good. I'll take it. <laughs> I just need to. Sensor long scan, 33% increased sensor range. Not bad. Man, I want this blade. I want the the Omni, uh, not the Omni, but the, the, the weapon mounts and everything. But I guess this is what I take. And this is exactly what we need for the new mech. I'll take a part of an archer, part of a flea, part of a chest, part of a striker, laser AMS. We got a bunch of medium lasers. We got a Fusion Core 155, one Guardian ECM. I will keep that around. And we get some primitive sensors, single heat sink cooling, yeah, standard engine, some structure, and then a double bin of plasma. Alrighty. Man, I really hope that we can somehow find another supercharger. Because I believe it's completely broken. I don't think it's just crit, right? When that thing blows off, it's gone, huh? We'll see. It would be a shame because we wouldn't as fast as we were normally with the hunchback now. So it will struggle a bit harder to get into a fire, uh, like a punching, punching range. But let's see. Let's take a look. Gonna lick our wounds, and there are a lot of repairs actually. But we got what we came for, and that's good. And there we go. One hundred and seventeen thousand C bills. Ugh, it hurts, but it's all right. We got two million, and we're gonna sink those two million right into this crusader now. Cool. So, let's go ahead and build something, guys. This guy doesn't need to be super fast. It just needs to carry a lot of weapons. So, therefore, we're going to start with um, the good old Endo Steel XL260, uh, not 280. And I'll also put the... Um, we'll see if we need the Radical Double Heat Sink kit, okay? I'll take the Interface Cockpit, because it's great. Absolutely fun to play. Uh, we need... I don't know if we even keep the Jump Jets. We'll see. Flamers can go, machine guns can go, LRMs can go, AMS ammo. Let's get rid of all of that. Now, what exactly are we doing with this thing? As I was saying, I really want to get my heavy rotary auto cannon 5 on this guy. It has a 2 recoil per shot. 
Oh, it's per shot and not above the third. That's a lot, man. That is a lot. We have negative one recoil. Hey, that's pretty good. Let's see if we can somehow mitigate that even further. Uh, we have a battle computer energy and then some targeting computers here. Okay. Jump pack booster. I like that idea. These heavy jump jets are quite an investment, but maybe it's what we need. Especially when we combine it with an interface cockpit. Being able to shoot in and jump away is incredibly good. I think I'll play it like that. I also want that exchanger. Let's go. So. We have no way to reduce recoil reliably here. So what's going to be our targeting computer? It's probably this one. It gives us negative 20% multiplier to jam chance. And improve the short cold, cold shot location by 20%. This is improved offensive push accuracy and negative 10%. I like this one more. The flat 20 is better here. Sensors. Tracker. Seems good. I like the tracker. Cockpit. Ah. Interface cockpit already. What about a vehicular DNI? This one gives us negative recoil. And a lot of accuracy, but I think it takes some... Yeah, it takes the fire control slot as well. Which is alright. That's fine by me. Sure. I'll take the recoil reduction over the jam chance reduction. Uh, we also get plus one... Uh, plus two accuracy at extreme range. Man, that combined with tracker it seems excessive. Holy crap. I'll take it. Uh, and it generates a lot of evasion. It also allows us to put a gyro in the mech. We're gonna take the ultralight, because we can. And I do believe... I wanna make it feral. What's the heat? Very manageable. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. Do we have any kind of gunnery support? Doesn't seem like it. So... What we are doing now is the following. I put another jump jet in here, because... We got four. Might as well take all of them. So we have a total of six now. Jump pack brings three. Jump jets bring also three, which is a great amount of baseline mobility. The core is not the biggest, so might as well just jump around a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, weapon systems. We have a lot of weight still. We have a Rack 2 Pirate. Do we have ammo for it? We have heavy Rack 2 bins. Nah, that's not what I need. That's not what I want. Uh, some AP Gausses, which are not really helpful. We have two Ultra Auto Cannon 5s. Might be a thing. One bin of ammo for it. 20 shots. Good enough. Now that I think about it, I could just run two Ultra 5s plus some lasers. This is more damage. I don't know. Uh, questions over questions. What if I went with the Ultra 5? It has a recoil of 2. Yeah, we have a negative recoil of 2 already, so our recoil total is negative 4 if we take the skills into consideration. This is alright. I'll take this heavy rack. Um, yeah, that means our ballistic options are kind of limited here. Unless I want a, a sniper or a thumper. Would work. Hmm, recoil change based on your evasion. So, if we shoot and then jump around, we wouldn't have that problem, do we? Maybe. Next round we would have it. Yeah, never mind. Screw that. Uh, Thumper artillery is also not one of my concerns right now. You know what? I, I think I'll put either another big missile or either another big laser in here. And I think I want to make this kind of an ER large laser build if I'm going down that way. So what about that? See, I want to shoot at extreme and long range. I can pad that with maybe a proto double heat sink kit. No problem. Where's my third energy? Oh, there's another one here. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, give me another one. Can only take a large laser. Or we take missiles into consideration. Also an option. We got another heavy MRM. Um, and a bin of regular ammo and swarm ammo. I mean, these MRMs are okay. They're fine. 
ATM 9. I don't think I have ATM ammo, do I? I have two bins. But a single 9 is also not kicking it. No, I think I'm gonna stick with the energy slash uh, ballistic options. Alright, in order to get this done. I just want to get this mech on the, uh, on the board, on the battlefield. I'm gonna take an Angel ECM because we have so many of those. Great. Period. That's it. That's it. The rest of the mech is gonna be better cooling. First, of, first and foremost. There we go. Got the Radical Proto Double Heat Sink Kit, which is helpful so much. And we do have two Protos that we can put in the mech. That's one. That's two. This is not optimal. An Exchanger Plus would be better. Uh, I can head it with a cooling pod, maybe. And we are just slightly under tonnage. And you know, for a build, for an initial build, I'd say this thing is perfectly okay. It is not the greatest mech in the world. But it's gonna be my mech. And I wanna play it. So let's check it out. You know what? Are we gonna check it out? So yeah, I'll, I'll play it just like that. Uh, the cooling port for emergency. But uh, we also have the radical proto heatsink kit, which is good for an emergency. You know what? As as a result of that, I just realized we can drop a little bit of leg armor, probably. Something like that. Okay, and then we have a full ton that we can utilize. And the full ton is gonna be... I don't know. By the way, is a heat bank better than an exchanger? It is. Yes. No, wait. Let me see. Uh, it's a four heat missing. And that... Is five heat missing? Yeah, I guess I'll take the bank. It also helps us uh, shielding ourselves against external fire. That is better than the exchanger, funnily enough. Anyway, last turn. What are we putting in the mech? Is there anything that there is that we can use? I don't know. I'm just scrolling through real fast, but I don't see any additional equipment here. I'm actually thinking about some kind of support system. Engine heatsink plus one doesn't fit. So, we have a tag. We have a laser AMS. It's one and a half, but I like the idea. I'll take the tag. It's fine. Alright, guys. Two million C-builds. Bam. Dumped into a single mech. We are now in dead. I know Darius. I know. I'm the worst. But anyway... Oh, we can build that thing now. Oh, baby. Alrighty then. Give me a quick break. I will scrap some things real quick. And then we're gonna take a look at this thing. That's the wolf archer that we are now able to build. It's insane. Alright, guys. One second. Uh, quickly sell some spider parts and some herby parts and whatever. I don't really care about light mechs anymore. Okay. Yellow jacket. Still want to give it, get a chance to get that jacket online, honestly. And I do believe we need some money for Mr. Archer. Probably. Lee can go. 9,000. Great. Galleon. Sure. Uh, Irby. Get out of here. So, how much is it to build that Archer? 48,000. We have that money. Fingers crossed, guys, that that guy comes with good stuff. Huh? 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 Uh, it's broken. <laughs> it looks bad. It doesn't look so bad. No. This is alright. This is alright, guys. We get to keep Endosteel. We get engine heat sinks. Yeah, the clan double heat sink kit is gone and everything else as well. But this is a start for a nice archer. Alright. It's a command mech, which is great because it gives everybody one initiative. And resolve. And negative 33% bleed modifier. It comes with Artemis 4. Oh yeah, it's just a repaired um, system here. That's alright. I like what I see. But I'm not going to build it yet because I don't have the money. We'll see about that later. Guys, I feel like we're actually pushing into heavy mech territory right now. If you enjoyed the episode, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, guys, the best way to do it is on Patreon. Link is down below in the description, and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.